the words that we're looking at, we can sometimes put the supernatural all into one little box. And we can say, well, this is the way that God operates out of. And for instance, you could look in uh, the Word of God and you could see the word miracles and we could automatically think that the word miracles there in the Greek is dunamis power. It's the dunamis power of God. That's a miracle power of God. But within those three distinct dimensions, there are also unique manifestations. And in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4, Paul lays out these three distinct uh, realms that operate in faith, anointing, and glory. And they are, let's read the Word of God and look at it. Verse number 4 says, God also bearing them witness both with signs and wonders and with diverse miracles and gifts of the Holy Spirit according to His own will. Now, the very first thing that's going to come up is say, yes, Brother Charlie, it's according to His own will. It's own, God's own will, His sovereign will. Of course, I believe in the sovereignty of God, my friend, but at the same time, it is God's will to move in the miraculous. It is God's will, it is always God's will, for the miraculous to transpire. It just takes a person of tenacity to break through into that realm. A person that will penetrate the unseen until it manifests. You know, Smith Wigglesworth said that he would pray until he felt that moment of breakthrough. And when he felt that moment of breakthrough, he knew that it was done. That's why uh, there's a story of Wigglesworth where he slammed a person against the wall that was dead, 23. He just kept slamming him, commanding life into him until the man resurrected from the dead. He said it, it felt as if the answer from God was no, 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 no. And he kept pushing, 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 pushing until the power of God penetrated that thing and pushed him through to the other dimension. Now, one of the very first words that it's used in Hebrews chapter 2, verse 4, is this word signs, which is the word simeon in the Greek, and it's a, a mark, a token of divine authority and power. I like to say it this way in defining what a sign is. It is the authentic God-given authority to produce supernatural substance that brings legitimacy to the message that you're ministering. How are people going to know the difference between what we're carrying and what the religious are carrying or even other religions are carrying. It is through the avenue of supernatural signs that God has given to the church that give the stamp of approval, the authenticity of what they are ministering out of the Word of God is the truth. And 81 times in the New Testament, this particular word is used. Signs. I love that. Just type in signs right now. Signs are for the earth. These signs shall follow them that believe. Firstly, in Mark chapter 16, they're going to speak with new tongues. Yes, they'll speak in another language, supernaturally, like they did in Acts chapter 2. And I'm not ashamed of speaking in other tongues. But at the same time, God wants to give you a new language. That's right. He wants to give you a new language. A language 
that when you speak, there is a manifestation. Hallelujah. There is a manifestation of the miraculous that comes. Whew. Glory, glory, glory. I just feel the presence of God right now. Some of you need to lift up your hands and just receive. Just take a moment to receive the presence of God. You know, there's going to be many signs that God is going to begin to put on display. Many signs that God is going to begin to release in this hour. Things that we'll even see in the natural that will say, this is unbelievable. One of the signs of casting out of devils, people that are, are out of their mind suddenly coming back into their right mind. You know God has called you to cast out devils, not just in the four walls of a, of a building, but He has called you to do it in everyday life casting out of demonic powers, driving out darkness is something that God has called every believer to walk in. He's called you to live in this sign, this new language and this power, authentic authority. Secondly, in this chapter in Hebrews, it also speaks of diverse miracles. This word diverse or diversities actually means multicolored. I love that. You know, I love that God is so is so magnificent. You look at creation, you look at everything that God has created all around us, the things that He has done. God's mind is magnificent. And even in the area of miracles, there is a multicolored, glorious manifestation that God has given to His church. That means that there's nothing that God doesn't have an answer for. Now, friend, you're listening to me today. You might be sick. You might have something wrong with you. You might be diagnosed or have a family member that's been diagnosed with, with corona, with the COVID. There is an answer. There is a diversity within the dunamis miracle power of Jesus that when it is released it will cause the presence of God to move upon that situation and change it. You know one of the ways that they treat cancer is through radiation. They treat it by ultra rays of light. This multicolored manifestation of dunamis power penetrates the darkest, deepest, grossest sickness and disease and radiates through the Holy Spirit that thing that is trying to bring death and destruction. I love it that it's a multi this is a multifaceted, multidimensional, multicolored. You know, they say that there are colors that our natural eye can't even see. That means that there are things, but they're here, but our eyes can't see them. That means that there are colors that God has created that the human eye can't even have. Uh, 
have their eyes gaze upon. There are colors and diversities of lights that the naked eye will never be able to see. Yet through the supernatural power of God, we have the ability to see the multi-dimensional nature of Christ. Wow. So powerful. You know that uh, just in the natural, science says that when uh, you take the seven natural colors of the rainbow and you begin to spin them just at 2,800 RPMs, you'll only see white. I find that amazing because the Bible says that around the throne there is a rainbow. There is a rainbow that is around the very throne of God. And if I may say this, so often we look at the glory, the kabod, the Shekinah, is just a cloud. But if I could bring your eyes into the very throne of the Lord and show you what is there, when the cloud even manifests. This isn't just a puffy white cloud, but if you were to go in past what your naked eye can see, even in meetings, because many times we've had it where the glory of God showed up in the meeting, you could tangibly touch that cloud. You could see it with your naked eye, without even being in the spirit, you could see it. There's been times in meetings where I was standing and it, I saw a fog, like a milky fog over the people. And I knew that that dimension was coming and you could tangibly touch it. But if we were to go past that and actually go into the clown, cloud, go into the throne of the Lord, we would see Christ on the throne we would see the nine classifications of angels, innumerable in company, circling the throne of His glory. And around that throne, that rainbow, that wouldn't even appear to be the sevenfold radiations of the Holy Spirit, what, what, what would seem to be white light moving faster than what natural light even moves at. That's what we would experience. That's what we would see. And any time that the glory is available in His manifested form, this is what is happening in the unseen. The worship, the glory, the presence around the throne. Lord Jesus, the parousia, the appearance, the realm of appearances, Christ. Just one touch from the King changes everything. Changes everything. I'm going to pray for you in a moment. I hope that you're getting a hold of this. And if you're enjoying this teaching, again, I, I, I want to um, just challenge you today to join us on our partner page. Become a monthly partner because we even go into deeper things than what I'm even discussing with you today. So if you're enjoying this, this chat, I know that you will love what we talk about.